Hey, what's up everybody? Hungry Hussy here, and today I got a great little low-carb uh, dish for you guys. First of the year, you know, people want to you know, start cutting back a little bit, trying to, you know, loosen up the, the old waistline a little bit, uh, loosen pounds, that kind of thing. Uh, so, I'm trying to do the same, actually. Uh, I lost a pretty good amount of weight, and then I fell off the, just, boy, I fell off the truck. And uh, so now I'm back on just trying to, trying to cut back, uh, trying to lose a few pounds. But uh, this, is a, this is a dish here that, that we've done numerous times, and it's something I want to share with you guys. It's called crack slaw. Uh, there's all kinds of recipes around. People do it differently. Uh, this is kind of my variation. I do many things every time. It's not the same every time, but uh, it consists of just chopped cabbage, uh, carrots, onions, peppers, soy sauce. If you don't do soy sauce, you could do like the amino acids or whatever, um, or the aminos, not amino acid, but the aminos. Um, so yeah, the, the, the possibilities are endless. the heck man why do you need a motorcycle that loud really come on man oh wait oh wait mason up any rate so what we have is uh we'll, we'll get into the ingredients but it's pork uh, like i said the slaw the onions the peppers and that kind of thing so without further ado let's get to the ingredients all right our ingredients are this is the the uh slaw I get this at uh, get this at Harris Teeter. Uh, you get it at Food Line. Uh, Walmart does not carry this for some odd reason. Uh, I love it. I make my slaw. We eat slaw a lot here. Or I do at Marin, but uh, works great in this. It already they already do the work for you. Uh, over here, I got some. That's just some yellow onions. I got some red pepper and I got some uh, orange pepper. I got two pretty good sized cloves of garlic there. Got a thumb of ginger. I'll take my microplane here and microplane that into the dish. Just some uh, green onion tops for afterwards. This is the ground pork. It's one pound of ground pork. I got some carrots to go in there because uh, carrots wasn't in that. I got some salt. Got some pepper. A little bit of uh, rice vinegar. Uh, it gives it a nice little zip at the end. Uh, low sodium soy sauce and i like to add a little hoisin hoisin does add a little bit of carbs to it but it also adds a little bit of sweet too um, and a flavor that i actually like so so yeah that's it that's the ingredients now let's get to cooking right over there all right y'all let's go all right hey guys welcome back um now it's time to get this thing going uh one of, what i want to do first is i want to get the ground pork you don't have to use ground pork. You can use ground chicken. You can use ground turkey. Uh, you can even use ground beef, like a lean beef. Some people might want to go a little bit leaner, like a 93.7, but uh, I like the ground pork. Just down like that. We're just going to brown this up. Uh, once it gets to a certain point, and then we're going to get all of our vegetables and all that kind of stuff going, okay? So we're just going to break this up. So it's got a good contact patch, okay? I got our Blackstone um, right here. We're showing about 350, three, around 350 to 360 degrees. So we're just gonna let this chill for a minute, let it get brown. We're gonna flip it and then go again. All right, all right. Let's flip this, flip this around, kind of chop it up. I like to use the pork because then it kind of kind of like a egg roll in a bowl kind of thing, uh, but kind of low carb, right? Mm, smelling good, smelling good. All right, we need to season this a little bit. We're gonna season it a little bit of salt, a little pepper. All right. The pork really don't have a lot of fat in it, just to be honest with you. So we're just gonna stick that up there now. 
Alright. It's it's almost done. I'm gonna take some uh, clarified butter. Clarified butter. And we're gonna take our slaw mix. You don't have to use a dice, you can do uh, you can do shredded, doesn't matter. Carrots and we'll do our vegetables. Alright. And what all we want to do here is want to just uh, get these soft, nice and soft, alright. Now get a little bit of this. A little bit more clarified butter. A little salt. All right. So the idea here is obviously to use the cabbage like rice. And I'm going to tell you what, it's, it's pretty dang good. Uh, my little girl loves it. It's, it's pretty phenomenal. Move these around. You don't want to get it. You don't want to get them too burnt. You just want to get them softened, okay? Just incorporate those into here. We're just gonna let this. We're gonna let this sweat for I don't know a minute or two. We're gonna flip it around. And we'll do the same, and then we're gonna start adding uh, the rest of our items, okay? All right. It's been uh, about a minute or so, and the. I can see the cabbage, it's, it's wilting, okay? So now, I'm gonna incorporate this uh, pork now, okay? Get that all incorporated. So you're probably thinking, you know, your onion, or your garlic, you know, and your, uh, your garlic and your ginger's over here. Well, I don't want it to burn. So when you burn that stuff, and these griddles, they get hot. Um, you gotta be careful and you'll burn it in a heartbeat. So look at that, that's, I mean, that's pretty darn looking good right there. Now, here's where I wanna add the garlic and stuff. I'll add it here. All right, that's about two cloves. Oh man. We're gonna microplane our ginger. Getting on close here, getting the tips of my fingers in here too. That's probably gonna taste good too, I'd say. You don't need but just a few layers of skin. All right. So there's our garlic and ginger. Let's. Ah. Do you smell it? Nope, nobody's there. Ain't nobody there. I can smell it. It smells fantastic, yeah. All right, time for some soy sauce. Soy, soy, soy sauce. All right, two tablespoons or so. And then just a little bit of this hoisin. Hoisin is good stuff, y'all. Look at that right there. Would you look at that? All right, y'all. So you want to taste this for salt and pepper. Um, I did, actually did, and this added a little bit of salt and kind of needed some. Um, so one last thing, you want to hit it at the end. You want to take some of this rice, uh, rice wine vinegar and just hit it. It really liven these flavors up a little bit. Um, and it also give a little bit of a, a little bit of a tang. So, let's give it a try. Just make sure we're good. Mmm. The vinegar. The vinegar at the end is, it, man, it ties everything in. Woo! Hey, there you have it. Crack slaw's done, y'all. Let's get it on the plate. Let's get some scallions on it. Let's give it a final try. Let's get a little try here. A little trizy. Some people put, uh, I saw some folks, they do sesame seeds on, 
on the top. Um, I got some everything bagel seasoning that I'll probably add. Not right now, but uh, that I thought would be good. You know, it's got sesame seeds. It's got some garlic. It's got some onion. It's got some good stuff. Let's give it a try. Man. I like that pork. Tastes just like the inside of a inside of a good egg roll. Um, it also has like a fried rice quality to it. I get crunch from the vegetables, from the from the cabbage, from the onions, from the peppers. I mean, it's just it's a colorful dish too. Mm. The soy sauce, yeah, that's, that saltiness, brininess coming through, and then the the uh, hoisin. The sweet flavors coming through. Gosh. Mm -mm -mm. It's a great low carb dish, y'all. Uh, you can probably make this keto. Uh, I don't think you can do, I don't think you put soy sauce in keto, I don't think. So you can do like the aminos. But uh, y'all, I appreciate each and every one of you. Last week I was on the trending page for YouTube as creator on the rise man what a exciting time that was that was pretty crazy uh so all i have to do is thank you guys for watching and sharing uh commenting that kind of thing i assume youtube looks at that kind of stuff and sees that people people enjoy it so they they want to push that so i appreciate you appreciate y'all um and and i also that helped propel me way past 50,000 subscribers so I'm I don't know 50 I'm at least I'm, I'm over 50,000 that's all I know and that <laughs> that's mind-boggling that's crazy uh, that 50,000 people will want to watch me so that's pretty awesome I appreciate you sincerely appreciate you sincerely I love y'all so give us cracks law a try okay you don't have to have a black stone. You can do it. Um, you can do it in a pan. You can do it in a cast iron skillet on your on your uh, stove. You can do it. Uh, you can do it in a wok. Doesn't matter. Don't have to have a black stone. But by all means, you need to get a black stone. All right. That's, that's all. I mean, it's the it's the cat's meow. All right. Remember, y'all. I love you. I appreciate you. And until next time, folks. Hungry Hussy is 